Coding is actually tough. It takes so much time and effort in order to build the scripts that controls your empty movements, for example. What if you can do all this without touching any line of code? That would be awesome, right? So in this video, I'm going to be introducing you guys to 4 game engines that will allow you to build games without any coding skills, and we will also be talking about visual scripting in Unity, in Real Engine, and Goddard Engine. The 4 game engines I will be talking about in the beginning won't actually allow you to make some creative games that you can make a lot of money from, but visual scripting will do so. For example, this game that you can see right now in the screen is called The First Tree. It's made using a Unity visual scripting tool called Playmaker. At the time of making this game, visual scripting tools were still at their early stages. So imagine what you can do now with it. Pretty crazy. This game actually made $150,000 within the first 3 months. Yes, you heard this right. So, without further ado, let's dive into our topic. But before that, make sure to smash the like button to support me. Also, subscribe to my channel. I'm posting two videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them. Let's just dive into our topic now. So, the first game engine I'm going to be talking about is Game Maker Studio. Game Maker Studio is a game engine with a fairly active community base, and it already has its own store that is similar to Steam. This game engine uses drag and drop features to make it easier for anyone who has never done coding to create a game. YouTube is full of tutorials about this game engine in case if you want to learn about it. An example of a game made with this engine is Undertable, which was pretty popular back in 2015. The second game engine in this list is Construct2. This game engine also uses drag and drop features that you can use to compile the scripting code that has been provided so that you are no longer busy with coding activities that will make your head dizzy. This game engine has more potential for games that have pixel art graphics in the style of retro games. Let's talk now about one from the most powerful beginner friendly game engines, Buildbox. Buildbox has given birth to many famous arcade games available on the Play Store such as Color Switch. This engine supports 3D and 2D graphic game creation. It is perfect for those of you who want to make fun arcade games like the game made by Ketchup Easily. This one is also a drag and drop game engine. The last game engine in this list is Stencil. I don't recommend this engine for anyone right now since it doesn't have much features as other game engines. We are just adding it on the list because it's growing so fast and it might be an option in the upcoming years. Just like the previous game engines we talked about in this list, this one is a drag and drop game engine, but the experience of UI in it is a little bit different. Let's start now talking about visual scripting, which is the real way to go into non-coding game development. So what is visual scripting? Visual scripting enables you to create logic for games or applications without writing code. Visual scripting uses visual node-based graphs, which both programmers and non-programmers use to design final logic or create prototypes. Visual scripting also has an API that programmers use for more advanced tasks or for creating custom nodes for other team members. Visual scripting uses graphical elements which represent functions, operators, or variables. You can then connect those nodes from their ports by using edges. Instead of having to write code line by line, you do everything visually. Visual scripting is available in the three game engines that dominate the gaming industry. Unity Engine, Unreal Engine, and Godot Engine. Let's start by talking about Unity's visual scripting. Unity's visual scripting allows you to create logic for your Unity projects without writing actual code. Where traditional scripting in Unity is done in the c -sharp programming language, visual scripting is a visual language that lets diagram your instructions. For example, these two scripts do the same thing, but they are written in two different languages. The visual scripting package is installed in Unity by default from 2021.1 version onwards. However, from versions 2019 long-term service and 2020 long-term service, visual scripting is available from the Unity Asset Store as a product called Bolt. There's another visual scripting tool called Playmaker that you can find in Unity's Asset Store. This tool actually costs $65 for life, and it's the used tool to make this game, the first tree, that we talked about in the beginning of this video. So, Bolt was an independent free tool. 
but in 2021 it became Unity's official visual scripting tool. I actually recommend this over Playmaker since it was improved so fast, and now it can do everything that Playmaker can do. It's also, as we said, Unity's official visual scripting tool, so it's going to have more potential in the long run. If you want to learn visual scripting in Unity, I will leave some links in the description box to some fascinating courses. The Blueprint Visual Scripting System in Unreal Engine is a complete gameplay scripting system based on the concepts of using a node-based interface to create gameplay elements from within Unreal's editor. This system is extremely flexible and powerful as it provides the ability for designers to use virtually the full range of concepts and tools generally only available to programmers. In addition, Blueprint specific markup available in Unreal Engine's C++ implementation enables programmers to create baseline systems that can be extended by designers. The most common types of blueprints in Unreal Engine are Level blueprints fill the same rule that Kismet did in Unreal Engine 3 and has the same capabilities. Each level has its own blueprint. This can reference and manipulate actors within the level, control cinematic using matinee actors, and manage other level-related systems. In the other hand, blueprint classes are ideal for making interactive assets such as doors, switches, collectible items, and destructible scenery. Let's talk about Goddot now. So, unlike other visual scripting implementations, visual scripting in Goddot is heavily based on functions. This happens because it uses the same interface to communicate with the engine as other scripting engines. In Goddot, the scripting interface is universal and all implementations conform to it. A function is an individual canvas with nodes connected. A single script can contain many functions, each of which will have a canvas of its own, allowing for more organization. So, you will notice that visual scripting in Godot Engine is a little bit similar to normal coding when it comes to functions and classes, which makes the process of understanding normal scripting logic better for future purposes. So, this is the end of this video everyone. I hope that you now have a general idea about how visual scripting works. You will find a bunch of links in the description box, you can check them out if you are interested about learning visual scripting. Don't forget to like the video, comment if you have any question or feedback, subscribe and answer the notification bell. I'm posting two videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.